next uh, let's work with our verifications so first of all what are we gonna verify we're gonna verify page title so we will have to create method to get page title uh, next we're gonna verify the correct name so we're gonna have to get the name so let's start with the page title let's create in our base page object let's create method get title uh, scroll to bottom new private well it's not private because we're gonna use it in in other uh, even in tests so it's it can't be even protected it must be public public it's gonna return our title so string get title uh, and it's gonna return driver get title as simple as this let's go back to our login page verify title so page instance dot get title so since it's gonna return title then string actual title equals profile page get title next uh, verify next we need to compare actual title with expected title which is seeker dashboard profile so in the beginning of our test let's create string and call it expected page title so this is gonna be our expected page title this is our actual title and now we need to compare them so uh, today we will start using test ng assertions and to use them just type assert dot uh, assert true uh, which will receive condition and error message so condition is gonna be we need to verify that our expected page title dot equals and here actual page title and if it's not test ng gonna throw the error uh, so let's explain why our test fail uh, page title is not expected dot from the new line let's actually output expected semicolon expected page title and from next line actual semicolon plus actual title control f to format so if our expected page title will not be the same as actual page title test ng gonna throw the error page title is not expected and it's gonna print expected and actual so basically this verification is done uh, let's do our last verification verify correct name on profile page and to make it a little bit different uh, uh, by the way you see when when i uh, typed assert assert through it automatically imported test ng assert here so if if you have the error or something you have to add the import for test ng assert so let's use assert once again assert assert through our condition but the condition uh, we will will make it a little bit different so it's not gonna be compare two titles or two profiles names here you're gonna create separate method for verification and in case of the error 
let's let's type the error message so basically well profile name is not expected so we're gonna look for profile name and if it's not the one we're looking for then profile name is not expected and for for condition let's go to profile page and let's create another method uh, public uh, it will return boolean so true or false boolean is correct profile loaded so this method will receive our correct profile name and it's gonna verify verify it with actual profile name so what's wrong here oh return statement so let's let's make it false for right now <coughs> so profile name let's open our dice page let's see the locator for our profile name so the last name first name h1 so h1 with class profile contact name let's create our new variable private by profile content contact name text equals by expat oops class i don't like to use class ah uh, well you can use class you can use whatever uh locators you want uh, i just got used to using expat everywhere so i'm just gonna use them and so profile contact name is our class h1 at class equals profile contact name like that semicolon let's verify if our locator is correct now let's go to our console dollar sign x boom 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 okay yes it's only one and it contains both uh, first name and last name so we have this profile contact name locator but now we actually need to get the text from this locator and get text let's let's go to our base page object and create another method to get text from the locator uh, so protected string get text receives by element and inside find element dot get get text and it's actually gonna return this so we have get text method which will return the text of our locator and in profiles page so let's create if statement so if get text from our profile contact name text locator and if this test text equals to our correct profile name then just return true but if it's not equals then return false and here in our login test our condition is going to be is correct profile loaded so we're using this method here and uh, we need to pass our correct profile name so let's create local uh, string variable correct profile name equals uh, 
and let's copy my correct profile name let's save and let's pass it oops here correct profile name create method is correct profile what oh maybe i didn't save it no did i make a mistake oh yeah i did make a mistake profile profile page profile page dot is correct profile loaded and i think that's it so we have two verifications now uh, let's run test let's see if everything gonna work and let's add few comments uh, so in our console we see what's what's going on our login test so system out print line fill up email and password in our fill up email and password method for push sign in button let's do the same clicking on sign in button that's login page inside of profile page wait for profile page to load so just waiting for profile page to load and inside of our login test before the verification let's let's do the same mm, what do I do oh, I didn't copy correct statement so login page Just like that, verification. So, since we have two of them, save. Um, what do we have here in our test ng? Okay, so let's let's change. Uh, let's make our correct uh, test name. So, login test. Let's copy our class login. Test. Let, let's paste it in our test in gxml so instead of first test it's gonna run login test right click on test in gxml file run as test in gsuite let's actually see if it's gonna do everything we wanted it to do so firefox opened dashboard login page opened type email type password click sign in wait for dashboard and close did it work let's first let's see the log so method set up filling up email and password clicking on sign in button waiting for pro profile page to load verifications with the typo or sort of login test verifications and method tear down so let's switch to results Yep, everything is working, but never trust the test that never failed. So let's let's uh, make our test fail on purpose. So our expected page title gonna be let's just add whatever blah blah blah, and our name. Let's change our name also. Let's oh one 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 like that. So our expect, expected title is not correct, our correct profile name is not actually correct. So our test should fail because these verifications should not work. Well, they should fail the test. So again, let's right click on test in XML, run as test and G suite. <laughs> Method setup. Sign in, email, password, click sign in loading profile page closed 
verifications, method in DAO. Now we see total test run one, failures one. So let's click here, failure. Page title is not expected. Expected seeker dashboard profile, blah, blah, blah. Expected the normal title. So first verification worked. And since it's uh, basically first verification didn't pass, it didn't even go to second one. So let's verify second one too. Let's profile, let's fix this expected page title. Let's make it correct again. So now first verification should pass because now it's correct. Now test should fail on second verification. So save everything, right click on test and GXML. Run as test and G test. Okay, die started. Type in email, type in password, click sign in, load profile page. Loaded, verifications. Okay, it's failed, that's good. So now the reason for test, why test failed is profile name is not expected. And this expected true but found false that actually the test ng comment. So to make it a little bit nicer, just, just add dot here dot <coughs> and same here plus dot so so we see where our message is ending and where the test ng stuff continues save so it's working now let's fix our profile name again just run it one more time to make sure now it's it's pass run as test ng suite and this is gonna be it for our today's uh, video so run, again, enter email, enter password, click sign in, load page, verify everything and close. Test run one fails zero. And it's green again. So everything is working. Now you know how to use uh, page objects. And in next video, we're gonna create our negative test. But for right now, See you next time.